Many of our high school history books, since we have a number of high school students here, are filled with success stories of immigrants who have made significant contributions to America. There are still more stories to be written. I heard a few of them in my conversations this morning. And here today we have with us new citizens from a number of countries who will write their own chapters of the American dream. Do each of you hereby declare on oath and affirmation that you absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, or sovereignty of which or of whom you have heretofore been a subject or citizen, that you will support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that when required by law, you will bear arms on behalf of the United States, you will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States, and that you will perform work of national importance under civilian direction. That you take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation, or purpose of evasion. So help you God, if so, say I do. A round of applause. I am delighted to be part of this memorable event. And congratulations to all the new citizens on your achievement. This is a well-deserved and a very proud moment in your lives. I am well aware of the sacrifices and the price we pay to get to this status. However, as mentioned by the previous speakers, becoming a U.S. citizen is a privilege. And I urge you all to be mindful of it. It comes with not just rights, but responsibilities. You have been blessed with an amazing opportunity to be part of a democratic system. As you bring your unique strengths, you can enhance your lives and contribute to the communities. I feel this is a gift and we should cherish it. Once again, I'd like to welcome you to um, be a US citizen you're not an alien anymore, like I have been for a long time. We are US citizen, congratulations, and I wish you all the best, and God bless America. What are your thoughts on becoming a US citizen? Um, that was a great experience that I've been here for, for the past eight years, and uh, it's, a, it's an honor today um, to be a citizen, and the most exciting thing to do is now next is to vote.